Hi everyone, today we'll be talking about systems of inequalities. So we've actually talked about systems of equations quite a bit, where we were like, here's a line, there's a line, where's the solution, where do they intersect? And we found, ah, they intersect right there, there's the solution. However, when we're talking about inequalities, we have more than one solution. We have many solutions. There's many different solutions to inequalities, and we're going to take a look at it. So first of all, what we're going to do is we're going to analyze two different inequalities, and that's what makes it a system. It's a system because it has more than one. All right? So first of all, what we're going to do is we're going to analyze this. That's the y-intercept, also known as 5. So what we're going to do is with that y-axis, which is this line right here, we're going to go ahead and analyze the y-intercept, which is 5, which is this one. Then what we're going to do is we're going to analyze that slope. And if you notice, it's a negative, also known as negative 1. So how I'm going to write it is like this, change in y over change in x, where the slope is negative 1 over 1. So we've got negative 1 over 1, that's down 1 over 1, which is going to be here. Then again, down 1 over 1, which is here, continuing. And then we just kind of keep going each time. And then what you're going to notice is that because it is less than or equal to, is that going to be solid or dashed? It's going to be solid. You can know it's solid because it has like a line underneath, meaning that it is solid. So take your line tool and be like, that is a solid line. I'm going to draw those arrows right here to make sure that you guys know it is solid. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to figure out which side do we shade. Now in the last example, the last lesson, you should have learned that we shade below because less than means below. Less than means below. But if you're like me and you're like, you know what, I don't like memorizing things, I want to know why, go ahead and check a point. Let's check 0, 0. If 0, 0 works, if this works, then that means we shade below. If it doesn't work, then we shade above. So let's check it. Is this going to give us a correct solution? So if I put x here and y here, all I'm going to do is substitute, okay, x, y was 0. Let's see if this makes a true statement. I'm substituting in x with 0. All right, we get 0 is greater than or equal to 0 plus 5. Is this a true statement? We say yes, it is absolutely true. So that means what are we going to do? That means that we are going to go ahead and shade below that line. And that's kind of what we thought in the first place anyway. But now we have confirmation that yes, 0, 0 over works. That's why all of those solutions for this inequality are shaded below. Now what we're going to do is we're going to graph the other line. The other line has this situation. Once again, we want to get, we want to get our y-intercept, which is negative 1. Again, I am highlighting that y-axis. Negative 1 is going to be here. And then 2, 3 means we rise up 2, run over 3. So we're going to go up 1, 2, and then go over 1, 2, 3. There's the point. Continuing going up 1, 2, over 1, 2, 3. So we're here and then just kind of keep going with that motion until you get to here. Then what's going to go on is you're going to use your line tool and connect. But one thing I want you to notice is that this is greater than, not equal to. Since it's greater than and not equal to, we're going to need to use the dash tool. So we're going to go ahead and graph it. it looks like this. Now, again, from the last lesson, you should have learned that greater means, greater means, is it above or below the line? 
Greater than means above. So, and greater, that doesn't, that, doesn't that make sense? When it's greater than, it's above, it's higher than you. When it's less than, it's below, it's less than you. So let's check that though. Let's check the point zero, zero again. If zero, zero works, then we're gonna shade above. If zero, zero doesn't work, we're gonna shade below. So once again, we're gonna test that point zero, zero. Why am I saying we shade above? Is because zero, zero is right there. If zero, zero works, that means we shade everything here. All right, so once again, we're gonna go ahead and shade, or we're gonna test, does zero, zero work as a solution? So we go and we substitute y with zero, and we substitute x with zero, and let's see what happens. Get zero is greater than zero minus one. Is zero greater than negative one? Yes, it is true. So what do we do? That means we are gonna shade all of the things above so that it looks like this. And I'm gonna shade in green just so that we have a good differentiation between the top and the bottom inequalities. Okay, so what we're gonna notice here is what about what do they have in common? What do they have in common? So that's the shared solution. So I'm going to go to this side and remember earlier we said that this symbol means less than and less than means below, which means we're shading all of these things here. Next thing is we look at what does this mean? This means greater than. Greater than means we shade everything here. So now we need to figure out where in the graph do they have the same set of solutions? Where do you see an overlap between the colors? Where do you see an overlap between the colors? We see an overlap between the colors here. I'm going to draw like a solid line there. And here's dotted line. And here. So these are all the solutions. Why are these the solutions? It's because that is the region where both shading occurs. Is this considered solutions? No. That's not considered solutions because it only works for graph that is in green. So that one does not work. What about this area? Does this work? No, because that's only graphed in blue. So the only solutions that we have are located here. So that's what we're going to consider as points for the solutions. Which solution? So when we're looking at this question, it's asking us which system or which what points would make it considered a solution. So any of these points are solutions. So for example, if we wanted to label what's a solution um, right here, well, we go like this. Okay negative five zero is a solution and it's because it's in the area that says solutions zero zero is all solution because it's also located in that area basically anything in these areas that have the green and the blue they're considered solutions also the next part it says how can you be sure that these solutions are sets of points that make the inequalities true well if you substitute in zero zero or you substitute in negative five or zero zero here and negative five you're going to notice it makes both of them true so basically what you need to say is how do you be sure that that region contains the only set of points that make both equations true we would say the solutions are correct for both inequalities. Alrighty, and let's go ahead and do one more right here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to graph it. So I'm going to pause the video, graph it, and then we're going to do some shading. Alright everybody, so 
pause the video and let's do some shading. All right, so you should have graphed this. And then what's gonna happen is it says y is less than x plus two. So what's less than x plus two? It's all the things below. But again, let's check to see if that's right. How do we know it's below? It's because it's less than. And um, I'm gonna fix this right here. So it should be less than. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and test does zero zero work for this point? So we test zero zero, which is here. Does it work? If it works, then we know we're shading below. So we're gonna go zero less than negative zero plus two. Zero is less than two. Does this work? Is this true? Yes, it is. That means we are gonna shade everything below that line. Next thing is we're gonna do this one right here. We're gonna graph this one. Um, this one I'm actually gonna graph with you guys. So if you guys can see the y-intercept is 10. It's kind of up here. And then the slope is negative three over four. Negative three means you go down three and four means you go right four. So from there, we're gonna go down three, one, two, three, and then over four, one, two, three, four. There's our point. Then we're gonna go ahead and go down three, one, two, three, and then over four, just like we have here. And then we're gonna go ahead and graph. And with our graph, it's really important to know that this is a solid line. It's a solid line because we have the equal to symbol. So we're gonna go ahead and choose these options for it to be a solid line. Looks kind of like that. I'm gonna do that in green though. And yeah, how are we doing, you guys? Are you doing well on this? Hopefully you're able to graph this. It's really important that when I'm doing it, you're doing it as well. You don't just watch the video, you also try to do it at the same time. Okay, so then we've got this right here. Then we're gonna notice, do we graph below or above that line? Now again, noticing it says less than or equal to, that's why it's a solid line. But since it says less than or equal to, I'm going to test again, zero, zero. Does that work? Does it? Zero, three-fourths times zero. Then we go zero is less than or equal to 10. Is this true? Yes. So that means zero, zero is a point on the graph that works. So that means we are going to shade below which means we're shading everything below this line, which looks like all of these. So then we ask ourselves, what is the solution? What is the solution? Well, the solution is this area right here. We've got the dotted portion and the solid portion right here. Everything here is considered a solution. All right, all the solutions are there and that's how you shade. All right, everybody. So I'm gonna have you guys practice that. That was the end of this video. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time.